I was interested in cars when I was a little kid, like when I was a baby. Right? I was the kid that could name headlights as we were driving home. It's just a unique challenge, right? It's a lot of fun and it's just exciting, you know, because you're moving at 70, 80 miles an hour, you know, going through corners faster than you thought you could. And just challenging yourself to, can I go through that corner that fast, right? Can I break that deep? Can I catch that guy that you normally don't get in other sports? Most of the people I race with are my friends, right? And because we spend a lot of our time doing the things we love to do. And that's the thing about motorsport. You know, motorsport is a lot about who you know, a lot about networking. You know, it's about making friends, it's about the community of people, it's about, you know, talking and sharing and learning with other people. The skills that I've picked up by racing have always translated back in my street driving. And so I'm just more aware because I'm used to things moving in front of me and I'm moving in a quicker space and et cetera. So when I get back into my car and I'm driving home, I'm paying more attention. The common misconception with karting is that they think it's just for kids. They see the arrive and drive bumper carts at like Fantasia or like the amusement centers and that's what they think of when they think of a go-kart and it's totally not the same thing at all. I think of a go-kart as a tool to develop drivers. It just makes you a better driver no matter what you're racing. I love driving and that's just the thing I love to do. So I think of karting as a way to improve my skill set because it trains you to just be quicker because the tracks are smaller and so you just have to be more on your toes and be more ready for things. A cart is a small car, effectively. Like, I can load it in the back of a van or put it on a trailer. If it breaks, I could just put the cart in the cart van and take it home, rather than being stranded somewhere because my racing vehicle broke. The hardest part is trying to win. Um, if the people you race with are good. You know, they've all got skills. Some are fast, some are good defenders. And that's what makes it so much fun. When you do pull off a good win or pull off a good podium or just a good result in general, it feels really good because you had to work for it. All right? So it's, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time.